tonight. From Lincoln Financial Field in Philadelphia. It's week three of the NFL. Philadelphia is one of rich history and passion, and you can always count on the ladder when you step inside Lincoln Financial Field. The scene a few moments ago, here it is. It's unlike any other in sport as both teams made their way out of the tunnel. These folks are fired up as their guys are ready to do battle between the Los Angeles Rams and the Philadelphia Eagles. Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, you look at this Eagles team as they interplay here. It's been a great start to the season, back-to-back -back wins to begin the campaign. Yeah, you don't want to get too excited. There's still a lot of season to go, but they've come out playing good fundamental football. Meanwhile, for the visiting Rams, they were losers their last time out. They're going to try to get back in the win column, but obviously they're going to have to do that in a hostile environment. And sometimes it actually works to your advantage. Now you've got to band together your the team, the against the world mentality, and see if they can use it and get a victory. Line. The Rams taking the field and leading the way, the man from Cal, the former number one overall pick, Jared Goff. Okay, I thought there was something to build on in last week's game by his performance. I thought he played fairly well overall. The, the numbers won't knock your socks off. Two touchdown passes and an interception. The bottom line, though, they lost. How does he eliminate that one interception, continue to take care of the ball, and maybe increase the number of times he puts the ball in the end zone with a receiver? A throw left side to start to drive is complete. And he'll get this up to the 34-yard line. to Tyler Higby. It's the a game numbers for him from a week ago. First down, Four Rams. catches, 60 yards. That was a nice job there pulling that one in. Now, this is an offense that will certainly spread the ball around a bit, and this is a guy that defenses had better focus on. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Gets this into the hands of the tight end, Higby. Oh, the ball comes out, complete. and this is good to get out of bounds. So he'll gain a bit of yardage on the play, actually, and the hold on to the football as well. Well, obviously, you never want to fumble, but if you do, good to be towards the sideline and saves them the possession. Saves the embarrassment, saves it going down on the play sheet as a turnover. But I still think it should go to the defense, even if they don't recover it. If you give up the football, he gave up the football. Agree to disagree, I guess. <laughs> Can you tell what I played? Yeah, you played defense. Yeah. I'll I let you go. A, I took a shot. The fumble hey. on first down now. Here's second down. A shotgun snap for goal. They'll get this complete to Cooper Cup. And they bring him to the ground just shy Complete of midfield. Cooper Cup. 11 yards there. Again, first down. On the play. Well, that certainly first has to down. feel good. Uh, Los Angeles. The time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the heart of the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Yeah. Leaves him with two to Complete. go. Complete. And second down. Acres. Facing a second eight and two after the pickup. last catch. Good for eight yards. Second and two. At the Eagles. Here's the first play of the game for Cam Akers. And he stopped Cam after a game of one. The round and now he's still a yard to go. What's your thoughts on the tackle? It's a gain of a yard. And it's third now, down. down. Got an open man finding Jefferson. Goss has and he'll go out of bounds to Jefferson. And Jefferson. Down inside the forward. A gain of okay, five. So great at math. And the Rams first down. Marvin, and he signaled to me five for five to get things started here on this opening drive. Where I come from, that's pretty good. That is pretty good. Now, what do you do defensively to adjust? Well, this is where you got to make a decision Goss as your defensive, as a defensive Complete player. to Cam Akers. Do you Akers. really get after the quarterback? 
pick up a three. Down on the Brings up second and seven. seven. Chip away at the 34 yard line. Aren't as precise as they've been in so far in this game. Now left side, a completion to his tight end. And he'll be brought down at the 27 yard line. Complete. Seven to Nick yards Bennett. there on a first down. A gain of first seven. Of the game. We did first see this in practice, Rams. didn't we? Because they allowed us to stay and watch and see what their opening script would be, even though we don't know the exact play calls. That looks a lot like what we saw them execute, doesn't it? It really does. And in practice, it wasn't about a lot of big shots on the open drive. They wanted to put together a series of plays, sustain it. They've done that. The defense now on their heels a little. That, that they are. And you know what else is happening now? They're gaining information. They're gaining knowledge about how the defense is planning on playing them. So not only are they being successful on this drive, they're firing things away for future drives in this game. And this will leave them a yard short. Now Cam Baker is the ball carrier. First down. Now, the tackle by a really Dan nice Maddox. job by them picking up the run blitz and nine. detecting it. Brings up second and one. It's turning into a nice run. A lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage. Aker and they're easily blocked the ball in terms carrier. of the side. The tackle made at the three yard line. Exactly where the first down marker was. Handed it to the guy who could run it. Created some space. And he got there. That's a good way to do it. The loss last game, but first drive here in this one, cashing it in for six. And yeah, they can talk all they want about putting the loss behind them. I think that drive there Steven did more Hushka than the any conversation point. they had, don't you think? That's exactly right. Puts that to bed. And this is what they said all week long. A lot of things they needed to do differently. This kick is good. Whatever they said appears to have worked. Makes the score Rams Hushka seven. Adds the extra point. Eagles nothing. And that makes the score seven nothing. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And they'll get him down right around the 25. The Eagles take over first and officially, yeah. so a net gain of one here. Phillies offense getting ready, and Jalen Hurts ready to lead them. The second round pick who started his career at Alabama, then finished with an electric senior season in Oklahoma. And he ought to have a lot of pep in his step after last week's performance because he did exactly as you want him to play if you're a coach. Three touchdown passes, zero interceptions, which usually means you're making a lot of right decisions out there. And got him the win. He's going to drop this down to Sanders. Hurts fast. Given six on the play. Two miles Sanders. This a second down. A six-yard pickup brings up second and four. On the second down, he's yard a keeper line. by the QB. And down he goes on the pressure from the Rams defense. And now following that sack, looks like we've got an injured man down there on the field. We'll check on his status when we get back. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. And he is going to have an Eagles first down. Oh, he's able to get the third down conversion. What is Eagles first down on a game of 11? I'm not sure first what this is designed the for him yard line. He got through the progressions. He got the ball to him. So second catch on the drive. He may not be a primary guy, but they definitely want him involved, don't they? Yeah, absolutely. This early in the opening drive, as you said, two catches. So if they can get him going in the passing game, it should open up his running game, too. Miles Sanders first carry of the game. And this time they were ready for him as they stop him running at the, the line carrier. of scrimmage. He Officially, was it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and a 11. loss of a yard. Brings up second and 11. At second the 37 down, yard line. Hurts. The pass complete to Hakeem Butler. First pass. Complete to Hakeem Butler. It's third down. It's a gain of seven. Makes it third and four. 
from the gun. It's Hurts. That's caught. It's John Hightower. And he's going to have an Eagles John first down. He's going to get the third down conversion. Eagles. And that game at nine buys them a new second down. At the 46 so yard line. Rams territory now. It's first and 10 at the 46. The Sanders on first down, not finding much of anything there. He's in there. He's got back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. on the play. Second and ten. Hurts at the Rams, 47-yard line. Left side here to Sanders. Hurts first Thursday night game. To Miles Sanders. Probably say shrink the playbook somewhat. That's a game three. Is that correct? It's third and seven. Out of time, which you have in a normal week.
talk about low man wins in the running game for an offensive lineman versus a defensive lineman. It's essentially the same thing in pass protection. Get lower than that defensive lineman so that you can keep your balance and keep him away from your guy trying to throw the football. So Brock, he'll try to refocus after the sack. The Rams now set up with a tough little third and one. Here's gone. That's into the hands of Akers complete. And he is out of bounds right around oh. the 34. Space to run after the catch, and now they're screaming, Somebody get him down. Fortunately, they got to him and forced the ball. Eagles take over first and 41 yard punt, three on their the own. 25 and the yard Eagles will have it taking over first and 10. It'll be Sanders to begin the drive. And he is met Miles quickly Sanders in the backfield. Down he goes, Aaron folded Donald like a lawn chair. Two yards to loss, second two. and 12. Brings up second this defense and really 12. pulled around in the yeah, first half. The they got into the ball carrier before they can really get started. Offense got to come up with something else in order to try and get this running game going. The second down and 10 third, knocked down as it leaves the quarterback's hand, and it's incomplete. He was hoping to get that to John Hightower. Makes him make third down, down and 12 yards to go. Hurt sets up to throw it. And on the catch right side, this is Sanders. And he got blown up on that play. Back to at the 12. Sanders. They'll wind up losing three, three yards, yards, yards here. Play. And that's going to bring up the fourth down. That's a nice cut and save sequence there defensively because they did everything as they would have wanted to. They forced the third down. Back into the field with coverage. Nowhere to go with the football. The Rams take over first, first and ten. Back. And At even their then, own they closed quickly and got him down behind the line of scrimmage. You name it, they did it well in that last sequence. On first down, goal. Complete, Jefferson the target. And he'll be taken down across the 50 at the 45 in the new territory. Excellent way to start the drive there, 18 yards. First down, the goal for any offense versus his own defense. Find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. because the previous play see something that they want to take another peek at to find out if this was a touchdown or not.
Steven Hauschka for the extra point. It took them an extra look, but they found out it is a touchdown indeed. The official says this one counts. The kick is good. Hauschka with the extra makes point. The score. And that makes the score 14, 14 to 7. Eagles 7. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. Fielded just outside the goal line. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26 yard line. At their own 26 yard line. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. And on the last go around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means they're going to lose the field position battles. A general final. Sander. Second and two at the 14-yard line. They run here with Jason Hubbard. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. Jason Hubbard. The defense was ready. It worked for them. That's good. Crunch Eagle. You get the sense. The next time he has that opportunity, he can keep it himself. Probably owes his back a little bit of an apology on that one, huh? And they go the wrong way on this one. Losing yardage back at the 12. By John They'll Johnson. lose a yard there, and it's second and it's 11. Loss of a yard. We've hit the two-minute mark second in the second quarter. 14 to 7. 12 yard line. Coming up at the half, a reminder, we go back to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman and have a look back at our first half, as well as a look ahead to what's coming up later this weekend. This is Butler making the catch. First no game that time with completion. a completion. Butler. Butler. Ninth play of the drive no coming up. It's certainly not it's an easy third down third and down. 12. And that's going to be incomplete. The coverage is too good there. The contact in the ball three, and it's fourth down. Mason Crosby and that's one of those plays where it's hard to keep two eyes on the play. Contact's yeah. coming, let alone getting two hands around it, hugging it to your body, and good. absorbing the hit. Even for those big tight ends, you would think can absorb that contact. Try to reach. 
focus after the sack. The Rams now set up with a tough one, a third and long. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 40 seconds remaining in this first half. On third down, here's a run by Akers. And they will bottle him up behind the line, and that way they use it to him. Akers, the ball is a tough one. This is a good kick as well. So a change of possession here is big on first down. And all the offense as they take over. Seven yard line. Back to work for Miles Sanders in the Philly offense. And no doubt he's come out of the gate strong. Only in week three, and you see the numbers thus far. And we always talk about identity, setting a tone, you know, getting, getting the groundwork laid for the season or late for a game. And that's what they've done with the running game so far. It reminds me of when I first went to the University of Tennessee. And believe it or not, that's a quarterback for a day and a half. And the first practice session, the first play we ran was 28 pitch, which is a top sweep. And by the offense coach here saying, that's our identity, that's our bread and butter, that's the basis of our offense. we got to get that down right here, right now. I think we're seeing some of that in this running game. So did you not get that down, and that's why you moved to the defense? That's the first down. For that reason, I do know I saw a couple of things thrown, and immediately they were saying, you know, you need to learn how to back up. He turned into a heck of a DB, though, partner. <laughs> All right, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome in, everyone, to our Tiburon Studios here in Orlando. We'll take a minute and look ahead at what's to come this weekend in week number three. One of the best of the early games, we'll highlight it there. The Giants in for a stern test at home at MetLife Stadium as they'll be forced to reckon with the Atlanta Falcons. Then later, they'll let the sun die down a bit in Tampa. A late start here in Florida, where it'll be the Buccaneers taking on what should be a very tough opponent. And then lastly, we wrap up the week with a good one on Monday Night Football between the New England Patriots and the Tennessee Titans. In the game you're watching, it was Jared Goff with a strong first half. His guys have the lead as we'll hand it back over to our commentators, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. It's the Eagles ready to see the football first, and they trail here as we resume action in this third quarter. Fielded just outside the goal line. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up the Eagles take over three first down. Down at their own 23-yard line. The Eagles offense had to begin their next drive. They're close, close game, but they're going to need to do a little bit better probably here in half two, no? And he will be hit from behind and Jaylen run Hurts. over. Wow. Not a blitz, but the guy who's normally running the slide of defense recognizes he had a chance to get to the quarterback, and that's exactly what he did. Right there. On second down, it's Sanders. And we're sure he says Mario will take this up to both carry the 20. Dale get two yards back, tackle. but it's going to leave him with a long third it's a game and 13. Of two. Third down and 13. Oh they look to throw. Caught by the tight end Ertz. And they'll take this to the other side of the field. The third down and 13. And as you saw right there, this is going to be a good speed for a tight end. Nice job there, catching the short throw and turning it upfield. He can also be a weapon downfield as well. So the line of scrimmage moves all the way across the 50 now as they come up first and 10. Now a shotgun snap as they look to throw. Under pressure, and he will go down. Jalen back in the 46. I know there'll be a little bit of criticism there Tackle because they went right back to the air after the huge pickup and end up getting sacked. That's often a play that you make. You feel like you've got momentum on your side. Unfortunately, the O line failed to hold up the trial. Two thousand the ball carrier. Ball carrier. They get just a yard back yeah, there, and now they'll be looking the at a tough third and fifteen. Brings up third down. 
from the shotgun. He'll look to throw. And a throw there going to be incomplete. You get the sense that they're saying seconds. we're not playing up the way we came before long, that we're deep enough it's into the game down. that the early jitters are long gone, that they should now have some sense of continuity and be able to make some of these plays that they have not been doing so far. And a nice special teams job here. This is going to be down the inside the 10 to 7 yard line. At their own so the field position game here is a very nice punt is going to pin them back. Yeah, it's almost like watching a game of tennis or do you prefer ping pong? You know, back and forth like that. That definitely was excellent, wasn't it? Now a first down throw. Gone. They'll get this to Akers out of the backfield. And they'll mark him Lost. down right around the nine. Just shot to Cam Akers. Three yards the game there. A second yard down. Pick up. The screen was Brings executed and completed. But where's the way of the nine yard line? How many times is the quarterback going to get hit? Because offensive line would have to do an acting job of making sure it looks like they're whiffing on blocks. But you got to slow them down a little bit. Because if you don't, you can't get to your The Rams. That's a play that will likely be forgotten when you talk about big moments in this game. But plays like this are critical to keep drives going. And points result, you won't call this play significant. On first and ten, gone. This one brought in by Jefferson. And he's going to get this one across the field. to Van Jefferson. Ten more is there and another ten. first down. First down, Rams. This is Akers. And he is going to be stopped cold Cam by the Rams. Officially, oh, it's a one-yard loss. Three. That's going to bring up second oh, and one yard. Pretty straightforward play seven, there by the linebacker. He saw the, the run. One yard with a straight-ahead pursuit and dumped him behind the line of scrimmage. to Akers, here's golf. Pressure comes and down he goes. He is down. And he got in there so quickly, Charles. What could the offense have done to the chance to account for that? And what you're hoping is that you figure out what you see and get a clue that maybe there's going to be some pressure coming at you. And you change the blocking schemes. Maybe you open up to protection. The biggest one's maybe the one you want to get a drop to keep you clean. But in that case, that didn't happen. Receivers blanketed on both attempts, this time on third down. have been stifling these last few drives offensively. Just not able to get anything going, so what needs to change? I think a lot of the guys will go back and review, so to speak, because everyone has something to sign to. How did each play work? Seven yard pickup. Okay, what did, what did we use that kind of worked for us during this game? Of to try and get back some of those plays, as well as the possibility of showing something you haven't shown already. Well, and Hurts is going to be hit and Jason taken Hurts. down to the ground. Sorry. Samson Abuka. Credit him with his sack, and it goes as a loss of six. And we say it all the time, have to be able to get rid of the ball sooner than that. You have to have your offensive line out. They're going to protect you as best they can. If you get three to five seconds to throw the ball, they're doing a really nice job. But when you hold it and give up a sack, you're almost discrediting their work. It's now we're into the down. second half now. This is an offense that continues to struggle to sustain a drive. Looks like they're just totally out of sync, whether they're running the ball, passing the ball like we saw there. I don't know. The rhythm seems off. It's a return of four for having a 42 down ten. And the Rams are on offense line with a first and ten. Getting set to go again here on offense. Jared Goff trots back onto the field. He's played well. Good first half. He's continued that here in the third quarter. My question is, when you're a head 
coach. What do you look at stat line wise for your coach? Do you go right to turnovers? You really do. As much as coaches Van don't Jefferson. like to talk about that. A gain of 13 yards. But I think the first down down for every game. The team making the fewest mistakes will win. And that's kind of how they judge it. Do you take care of the ball, not turn it over, keep it in the proper hands, and give your team a chance to win? That's what he's done here in this one so far. Personal foul. Nothing to pass over. Defense. No! Well, we looked at each other right away. We knew that flag was coming out. I don't know. I enjoy the conversation post. Because officials always tell you, I don't have to throw the flag, but you caused the play. You did it. I had to. Now this one complete on the slant round. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. Another first down this time on a gain of 19. Now they completed a couple on this drive, but they killed off some pretty good chunks of yardage, too. Absolutely great start. Two nice plays in the pass game. Now can they continue to feed off that? Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. And they run the option here on first and ten. Under pressure, and he'll go down. This drive starts with two steps forward, and now he's three yards. Here first down, and he'll have a rush of yardage. And that's the second sack of the game, but this play, disruptive in all phases, whether it's going upfield, coming underneath, you name it. He's a big-time guy you have to block. Pass protection has been a problem all night long as they come up facing second and a bundle. Another try after the first down sack. Golf. Under pressure again. And he goes again. Jared Cats, the former Mississippi State Bulldog, bringing the cowbell down the sack. Third. Now takes a good drive. He's right like a big horse in the sack. Oh, now they're looking at a third and long, and suddenly the momentum shifted to the other side of the football. And old Bob is a very, very fickle man. So Goff, he'll try to refocus after the sack. The Rams now set up with a tough one, a third and long. A shotgun snap for Goff. Fourth down now, looming after Philly's defense stands to one. Philly's defense have come up with a couple big plays in this sequence. And none better than the one right there, forcing the incompletion and bringing up fourth down. And they won't risk defending a return here. That one's out of bounds, and it'll be spotted. Spotted at the 14 yard line. Philadelphia's offense ready to give us another look. We have not seen much on offense here from either side these last few drives. We've hit a wall, so to speak. And have hit it hard, haven't we? Because the defenses right now, they seem to be a step ahead, don't they? Beating them to the point of attack, beating them to the punch. Number These offensive guys are going to be crazy. What's it going to take to get back the on track? Both sides searching for adjustments. Eight yards on adjustments. the pickup brings up second and two. Go again with Sanders. And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two to Miles one. Sanders. He was brought down by Taylor Rapp. Brings up third down. Seven inches, and they've got some extra beef up front. That's the end of the third ends. quarter. And with the score back, we are in the second quarter. We love Philadelphia. It's the Eagles behind on the scoreboard, but with the football here as we start the fourth quarter. The Eagles on third down, not quite 50%, four for nine. They're looking at third and a few inches. They'll try to run four with Sanders. And this is going to be an Eagles first down as the tackle made at the third. Miles Sanders! Another kill the Eagles. It's crunch time. They'll need them to continue their productive and the third and pass the game in order for them to try and snatch a victory. But first down, Hurts. Hurts. Firing quickly, but it's Intended for Miles Sanders. Looking for Miles lead. Sanders out of the backfield. Leads to second and, second and 10 down. at the 35-yard line. From the gun, it's Hurts. And quickly finding Rager. Pass. That'll leave him with a third and two record. coming up. They got eight yards That's there. The the Eagles on third down. Third They've hit on half two. of them. Five for ten. Here it's third and two. Shotgun snap and then the give to Sanders. And he's going to have an Eagles first down. He's able to convert on third and two. Eagles. They're going to have to keep the drive moving. First and ten at the 46-yard line. Throwing 
from the gun. It's Hurts. And he's got his man out of the backfield. That's complete. And he's going to be out of bounds. For but another he takes it inside the 40. It's a game of 16 in the first down. The 38-yard line. In the fourth quarter, Calvin will watch him drop for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there. Not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed, too. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. They go play action with Hurts. He'll fire it deep for Rager. And that's going to be too high. Intended for Jalen Rager. Jalen Rager was the intended receiver. He was defended by Jalen Rager. Come on. Throwing his hurts. And that is incomplete. Hurts. Uh, out of force. Barrett down on his hurts. He could not hang on. It's third down. This Brings offense was on down the move. And yeah, two straight yeah. incompletions have him looking at third and ten. Screen pass, that's complete. And he got loose. Losing yardage on the play back at the 44. Oh, oh how good has this defense been now. seemingly all game long? I really think right from the first snap, I think you're really on to something there. In this passing game, it just can't get off the ground. And that play, they wound up losing yardage. One score down, here we go. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. He'll fire it deep for Rager. Well, this is where an offense First needs to show what it's like made of. And that, where a quarterback needs to show what he's made of. Trying to engineer a fourth quarter comeback, and he hits a big one right there. touchdown and that's what they're gunning for on first and goal they'll try to run with sanders and he's in for the first touchdown sanders his second touchdown on the season and once again the eagles are back out in front nice job of polishing off that drive but all the credit there goes to that play prior yeah it certainly does because after that big play Resistance almost got fewer at that point, didn't it? Makes it very nice for the right back. Quick, fast, and in a hurry, and put it in the end zone. He's got it, and this is indeed up to a three point lead. That one in the box has a trip for the Eagles. It was Miles Sanders who finished it off in the touchdown.
Still a few inches short of a first down as they come up now on second down. From the gun, here's Gall. Gets this into the hands of the tight end, Higby. And he'll be Gosh, brought down yes. right around the 37. Tyler Higby. They'll get three as the drive the continues. The it's play. a first down. And the Rams first down. for Jefferson downfield. Gosh. And Jefferson was the intended He's receiver. It's going to be ball. second down. It's second down and ten. Again, golf. Throw it over the middle. Oh, it's incomplete. the intended receiver. The important play right here, third and ten. And it's the pressure here. And ten. That's into the hands of Akers complete. And he gets this only to the 41. Not near enough for the first. He did his best to just get four out of that, but not enough. And now fourth down. One thing I think it's safe to say defensively. The tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. You're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays. The Eagles take over first and ten at their own 20-yard so here are the Eagles to take over. They've won two straight, and they lead this one as well as they come up on first and 10. Hurt sets up to throw it. Escapes the sack. Now the pressure comes, and he goes down. Just inside of the 10, back at the 9. Tyrone Crawford in there to Run bury him back his own loss of 11. Pass protection has been a problem all night long as they come up facing second and a bundle. And a short pickup here as he'll get across the 10 to the other Sanders, yard. the ball carrier. They get two yards Taking back to the 11 yard line. Man here on third down. Brings a tight game like now. this. Such a tough spot for the offense to be in, even though they have the lead, Charles, back up so close to their goal line. they got to protect the football. And that's when you have to take care of your team with play calling as well. Not a lot of misdirection, not a lot of counters, not a lot of plays where you have extra ball handling. Get it right to the hands of your running back. Defense. Tell them to take care of the ball and try to move this forward. Is unbelievable. Well, you won't hear any boos from this home crowd on that call. No, not at all. And it's been a long day for this crowd waiting for this game. It's been a long evening as well. Finally, they feel they got a call. And flags come in as he gets forward for about three yards. Now let's check Holding on the call. Offense. Don't you do it. That one whistled against a big right tackle. You'd think being able to fire out and block would be a lot easier to not commit a holding penalty. But it's tough to keep those guys right in front, isn't it? And he's going to go down. They sack him back in the first sack. The perennial pro bowler Aaron Donald gets the sack. Back this has been a tough one for this offensive line. It appears almost like they've been on roller skates this entire game. The way they've been pushed around. Six sacks given up in this one. Don't be scared of it. Second down. Here's Jalen Hurts. This ball complete to Rager. And oh, he's going to be brought down by the face mask. Here come the flags. Face this is going to get him a first down. So they'll take the yardage and tack on 15 more for the face mask. Talk about a play that absolutely costs you in the end. Just trying to do your job, right? Trying to get him on the ground. Next thing you know, they'll march up another 15 against your squad. Now left side, a completion to his tight end. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. He has gained 13 yards that time. And another four yards. These guys are running That's offense like you drive. The ball is First down. 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 Stomp down. How about First down. Back to back completions. Thank so much for being conservative and running that football. That's complete to Hightower. And the Eagles are going to be sacked in first and goal come off as they get him down at the six yard line. 12 more yards there and another first down. Hurts. And he's going to go down. Sacked back at the 13 yard line. Samson Abuka able to drop him that time for his second sack of the evening. At the 13 Three yard points line. separating these two sides with two minutes left to go in the fourth. Hey. 
So it's Eagle football here as we get you reset. Pass protection has been a problem all night long as they come up facing second and a bundle. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. So fresh out of the two-minute warning, and here's another timeout taken with 155 remaining. A lot of tired bodies on that field, but this is a big play, third and goal. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown,
play. Another run here with Sanders. And they'll take him down at the 31 yard line. The Rams will be forced to use their third and final timeout. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. Now a carry for Sanders. And he'll have a gain of three to the 33. Miles Sanders, the ball carrier. The recipe's pretty simple. He's taken down and give your superstar the ball. Continue to feed him. It's a pickup yeah, of three. This one, Brings right? up Make second sure he's and seven. The ball, but you're also counting on his intelligence and in playing the game as well. If it's not there, don't Miles force the run. Miles Sanders, Just the ball carrier. Make sure you hand into the and keep the clock ticking. He was brought ticking. down by Ja'Kai Polite. A one-yard gain. Brings up third and six. On third down, they turn to Sanders. And they're going to mark him down short. Miles Sanders, the ball carrier. It's that. They just brought it down by John Gunn. A fourth down. A game of five. Made on defense. It's fourth down. Oftentimes, leverage is the key to everything. Defensive line not getting turned. All the other guys making sure they're in the right spot. And on that play, they're able to stop him short on the first down. Now they go for it on fourth, but this one is going to wind up nice. incomplete. Uh, the Eagles are able to convert there on fourth. Then the Rams get the Result football the in outstanding field position. He's going to let it fly. And nearly picked it off. He had a chance to come down with that on the inside. He had just being incomplete. Brings up second and ten at the 40-yard line. One last throw here for Goff. Open man, he'd be the tight end. And he gets it down to the 32. So it's a victory for the Philadelphia Eagles. And it took a big fourth quarter to do it. But the bottom line, they got the job done. Yeah, it is the bottom line, isn't it? A few anxious moments along the way, though. A few sweaty palms, not just for the team, but for their fans. As you mentioned, down going into the fourth quarter. How about the rally? How about the comeback? Getting it done on both sides of the ball. Holding them when they needed to and finding ways to get points when they had the football. So for the Eagles, it's an ideal start as they move to 3-0 now on the young season. And they'll get a few extra days to savor this one before they take on the New Orleans Saints. Meanwhile, for Los Angeles, they'll fall to 1-2. And, and they'll try to get back.